whatever milestones that black people make against hate, it ends up benefiting all the other people of color. I can't see what his end game is. The Republican Party is the party of racism, is the party of white supremacy, is the party of hate. This is wrong and it needs to stop. Everybody wants to go back and drag that piece of history up, but they don't want to go back and deal with what their ancestors did to the indigenous people and to black people in this country. Uh-uh, you got to go. And you got billionaires talking about going to space and Jeff Bezos, go, never come back. I hope you get lost. This man has lost his mind. Boom, come on, girlfriend. What is up, everybody? It's Dr. Vibe here, host and producer of the award-winning Dr. Vibe show, the home of Epic Conversations, and I'm the host of Epic Conversations, 2020 Best Podcast News Award winner, 2018 Innovation Award winner given out by the Canadian Ethnic Media Association. Also, I am the host of the only online conversation in the world for dads and fathers that is sponsored by Dove Men Plus Care. It's also co-sponsored by Dad Central, Canada's national fathered organization. As always, I like to say you're blessed, highly favored, a magnet for miracles, and a solution for someone's problem. And wow, 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 wow. We are broadcasting on a, a pretty crazy, crazy, after a real crazy week in America, America, we're broadcasting live on June 25th. 2022 and i think this is another week in american social political world games that we're never going to forget but aisha and jill are here and i've been looking forward to this conversation since wednesday night baiting just patiently waiting one of my close associates saying how many bad words we're gonna hear tonight so I don't know <laughs> how much we're gonna hear tonight but I know it's gonna be real Real, real, real. So if you're catching this live on replay, thank you for being here because this is going to be an epic conversation. I always say that I'm the host of Epic Conversations and this is the home of Epic Conversations and tonight's going to be one. So let me shut my mouth and bring the, the stars of the show up. What's going on? Oh, ooh, steamed. <laughs> We're steamed. <laughs> this tea kettle has, is, is done. It exploded. <laughs> <laughs> you want to end now? We can stop. No. No? No? We've no got to no. talk about it. We have okay, to talk about so this. Jen's in the house. What's up, Jen? Blue Range hey. is in the house. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey. Great to have you here. So let me ask an interesting question. How was your week before Wednesday? I didn't even know, were we alive? I mean, were we living? I I don't know what came before this. It seems so long ago. We've, we've been suffering so long in this country. I mean, the week was, the week was, earlier in the week was pretty interesting with the January 6th hearings, the two hearings yeah. this week, and then the fall of uh, Andrew Gillum. Yeah. Oh, um, wow, yeah. We, we haven't even got a chance we, to we, I don't even know if we'll get to that today. Um, no, but, we're going to get that today. I don't think but, we're going to get that today. I mean, this this part of it, it's like we knew we we knew it was coming, but I don't think people actually realized how serious it was going to be until all these trigger laws started to um, take effect. It was like dominoes. Yeah. Falling like dominoes. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, who did who did that song? And I dom she's the uh the person Aisha knows all these people. She's you know, I know honestly I for as young a girl she comes up with knowing the oldest records. I know but it, I don't it, it know. Escape, it's escaping me, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what song you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, but I, I can't da 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 Da, 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 mm -hmm. da. I can't. I'll, I'll find it somehow before we finish off. Those days are well, gone, right? Remember the mellow days of roller skating to your falling my <laughs> dominoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no. I've had conversations with people this week, feeling like the country that you reside in, and I just tell you, I'm in Toronto. 
Jill is in, on the left coast in California, United States, and she's in Connecticut on the East Coast. They're saying that is falling like dominoes, but let's get right to it. Let, let's just start and let's, who knows, this may be an hour-long conversation on just this topic alone tonight. Where We knew through that leak a few weeks ago that this was going to happen, but where were you both when you heard the U.S. Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade? Where were yeah, this you? This is like a 9-11 moment. You know, <laughs> or where were you when 9-11 fell? What were you doing when Prince died? And yeah. when Roe versus Wade, this is, they're all, they're kind of like that kind of a moment. You'll never forget where you were. I was in the ER. <laughs> I was in the ER. Um, just still having complications from um, my gallbladder surgery. And, um, you know, they, when they're taking all kinds of tests, one of the tests they take is a pregnancy test for women. And so, oh my God. So at the same time that the nurse came in and said, Oh, you're not pregnant. Yeah, news to me. I already knew that. But I just saw the thing on my daughter's like, Look what's up there? And I was like, Oh my God. Yeah. It just, um, Yeah, I was dealing with my kitty who was not well and taking her to the doctors. But when we came home, I was walking past, you know, the TV was on or whatever. And I was like, those must did it. <laughs> I was like, that was my first response. I said, those mother did it. Walking through the house. My poor husband is, you know, working remotely. It just invaded his whole space because I, my whole neighborhood probably went, oh, what happened? Uh, yeah, it was like, I just like kept looking and going, they did it. They did it. Now I know why they wanted protection. Now I know why they wanted us to vote for their yep. pay your own security. You create the dystopia. You don't get to walk around above it. You got to walk in the trenches like the rest of us. How dare they? How dare they? Yeah. And there's a lot of blame to go around. I, I've got to say, I, I, I think people have a very short memory. There was the people who were blaming uh, Barack Obama of all people. And, and the, but blame the black blame. man. That, that's well, tired well, let's, though. Let's be, let's be, let's be very mm -hmm. clear. All the things that we're going to talk about tonight, all the rights being rolled back are payback for that one time we had the audacity to elect a black man president. They mm -hmm. came full throttle after everything. And then, you know, and, and they've got their, uh, super coon in charge, Clarence Thomas, mm -hmm. over there talking about taking away everything else. Yeah. Who does he see when he looks in the mirror? Right. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, you're going to talk about taking away um, marriage rights from gay people. You do know that that steps into the loving category and that affects you, right, Clarence Thomas? I can't even say what I was saying in my own house because, you know, <laughs> I can't even say it. I was walking down the street, too, talking to some friends of mine while I was doing my normal walking. And all I know is everyone's like, you can't say that, Mom. They don't know who you are. They don't know that you're, you know, African-American. I said, I don't care. I was like, this man has torn asunder. And it's like he's either the Manchurian candidate that they gave something to or he's lost his damn mind. Or, you know, he's got too many pubic hairs inside of his brain. I don't know what it is. He's a mess and he's evil and he's owes somebody something. And if Merrick Garland and all of them don't go in and dig deep and if we don't start, maybe there's a couple of things we want from the SCOTUS. What should we start making new rules for them? How about yearly annual checks, checkups that are transparent? How about that? Why don't, why doesn't Congress kick back a little? We got enough people maybe to vote that in. Let's make their lives miserable too. Amy Coney Barrett, what are you really doing with that black child that you adopted? Does it make sense? Was he just your little poster boy or Mandingo ring a bell to you? Yeah, we, there's a lot of blame to go around, but in looking back, as I was thinking about this, we've also got to hold Democrats responsible. In 2006, when they won back the House and the Senate, and they had enough votes in the Senate, this is something they should have taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, they might not have gotten George Bush to do it, but as soon as Barack Obama was elected, they had, they had the votes in the House, 
they had enough votes in the Senate and they had a president who would who would have signed it into law. It's like we can vote, but there's the other side of it. You have to do the work once you're in there and they're not. Um, Mil- President rally. Trump is doing a rally for Save America. Mm-hmm. And this is what they so the quiet part is now out loud, just so you know. I want to thank you, President Trump, I want to thank you for the historic victory for white life in the Supreme Court yesterday. That was sent to us by Wig Maniac. Thank you, Wiggy. Um, We needed to see that. They are saying it out loud. And they've been saying it for a very long time. But now, you know, white life, we know that they want to use women's bodies as incubators. And particularly for some of these white women, it's going to be interesting. I mean, we have only been seeing the latest celebrities who are too bored or can't be bothered to carry their own children. So this whole concept is being evolved and developed for the future for poor women who will be carrying white women's and rich women's babies because they don't want to mess with their figure. I mean, but the thing of it is too, is that instead of convincing people to come to their side of the aisle, they just decided we're going to birth a whole, yeah. we're going to birth a party, you know, and, and we'll force women, particularly, you know, white women, because remember this, they don't care about anybody else. No. This was because they want white women white to women. have white babies right. so that they can prolong the inevitable, the inevitable, which is that this country by 2030 is going to be a majority minority country. That's why they want to get rid of probably interracial marriage because they don't want procreation of mixed people anymore. They don't want it. And they're basically telling you this. It's straight up, straight up boogie now. It is no in between. Either if you are supporting the Republicans even this much, I have nothing to say to you because you are now coming into areas that actually will cause me and my children and grandchildren and people to suffer and other people of color's children to suffer. There is a big problem with that for me. And it is intolerable for any of us to put up with anybody who comes half stepping with the Republican. It's not worth having them on The View or having them on TV shows to interview them. Let them stay on Newsmax and Fox and everything else. I mean, there really is no two sides to this. The other side is if you don't want to have an abortion, do not have one. Okay. That that's the other side of it. It, 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 it's Roe was decided before I was born a year or two before I was born. So I don't know what it's like to live in a country without it. I do. I was small, but I do. I know what it's like to have parents that weren't really allowed to get married because one was white and one was black. So yeah, I know that. I know the real weird niceties that exist in small town America. I don't really talk about it often because it's so absolutely horrifying. And it really, it was only okay because of the surrounding neighbors that I had. But all in all, white people in rule over black people is never really good. There's always a horror story at least once a year that you hear about. And there's always something that was unpunishable that went by the wayside and something really horribly despicable that happened. We actually now will have people in foster care and children going into these places that will never see a home, will grow up and get knocked out of the system at 18, um, more homelessness. But we also have to remember that Republicans have always made a living off of this type of chattel delivery. Their companies, if you look into even small business companies, there's somebody who owns something or has something to do with the foster care system where they benefit somehow. They benefit off of misery. And that is what they don't want disrupted. They, they, that's how the country actually has done so well by making other people miserable. And so the more misery you create, the more business you can get off of it. You know, you're essentially pimping people and their lives for misery. And Amy Coney Barrett needs to quit and go have more babies because she's failed as a mother, as far as I'm concerned. Clearly, she hasn't had 15 kids. Now, get rid of her. 
men who ejaculate, there's a big conversation sure. right now. If that, we go yeah. into it, how many babies are you killing with your wasted sperm? Doesn't the church tell you that you shouldn't be masturbating? But how are we going to monitor that? I know. Put, put monitors on people. Make them wear it. Oh, no, that's against their body parts. But how the hell, how can you keep telling people who don't believe in your God, your religion, why are my rights not protected? What is that? The, the Jewish faith doesn't believe in that. I'm not Jewish, but I believe in other things as well. The Christians have gone too far. And actually, to be honest, I think karmically we are being, they are being revealed for what they are. Maybe they're the false religion. Maybe Christianity is the false religion, guys. The last time we left something major up to the states that had to do with human life, people were enslaved. Okay. Mm. And look how many years it took to get rid of that. The reason that there was the, the 1965 Voting Rights Act, because those former slaveholding states could not be trusted to allow Black people to vote without intimidation, without stealing their votes, without turning them away from the ballot. States cannot be trusted. They can't be you're leaving abortion rights up to, to states to what? Well, you know what? Was it 16 states already shut it down? They effectively yep. have none. And then yep. there are 26 others mm -hmm. who are looking at um, changing the uh, window with where within which you can have an abortion. They, they are going to force little children, okay? Children, young girls to have babies by men who traumatize them. They're going to re-traumatize them again because obviously the people who made, who even came up with this law have never birthed a baby. Because even when you want that child, your body goes through so much trauma. When you are done having that baby, your body is like, what the hell just happened? Hmm. And imagine that happening to a 10 or 11 year old who gets pregnant by their rapist uncle. Okay. So then you're going to force them to have to do that. And then what happens to the child afterwards? Oh, your, your um, solution is give the baby up for adoption. So now not only has that child been raped, forced to carry a baby to term when their body is still that of a child, not a woman, and then give away the very thing. I mean, they're not, there, there is no um, rational peace in this. Nothing about this decision is rational. Um, and I, I think that we need to infiltrate at every turn in the government, because if, if this is going to be a right left up to the states, then we have better have representation in those states. Otherwise, forget it. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're talking about, she's right about infiltrating because that's what they did. They created an infrastructure. And not only have they have Republicans created, just infiltrated, this infrastructure that they've created is embedded in the states already. This move was is so calculated to the letter that they knew when they were going to pull the pin on it. They knew even up to the point where Mitch McConnell and them were trying to get protection and created a fake guy walking down the street around Kavanaugh just because they knew they got rid of our Miranda rights, which means they can arrest you without saying you're under arrest. Anything you say can and will be used against you. you can, they don't have to say that anymore. And without the Miranda rights, when can you call your attorney? How long will they keep you there before they let you call an attorney? And um, basically... Uh, you're dead in the water if you probably are a person of color and you get arrested. And that piece they don't even the have to tell rights. you what they're arresting you for. Yeah, and that piece about the Miranda rights, the part that um, most people won't get that you have to actually read about is that they didn't just say that um, you aren't guaranteed a Miranda right. It's that if, you, if a police officer decides not to read you your rights and arrest you, you cannot sue them for false arrest. You cannot sue them for not reading your rights. That is what Miranda allowed people to do, to sue and to fight against false, false imprisonment. And now that's gone. 
that protection right. is gone. So, you can't, if, if I were to be arrested tomorrow um, and just said, oh, we're arresting you, why? Do I need a reason? I okay, mean, you could be living in a red right? state, say something on your blog or your podcast, yes. and maybe somebody doesn't like you, Governor Abbott or whoever, and send somebody over to your house to pick you up. That could happen. That's going to happen. And Not it will. Can. What they've done is create an untenable living situation and removed a quality of life for American people. But I got to I got to tell you, the religion thing is it's got to go. Religion, you cannot tell people what to do with their bodies. So and you're going to see things like an increase in suicides. You're going to start to see women feeling like, oh, my God, I have no way out of this. So. I'm going to remove the problem myself and, and it's going to be really bad. What I want to know, what about all those Republican politicians that are getting their girlfriends and mistresses pregnant? Where are they going to send them when it's time to have the abortion? Where's Donald Trump going to send his next stripper? <laughs> well, let me ask, what is your message for non melanated ladies who are very happy about this event? non-melanated women that are happy about it yeah you know the thing is that i really haven't seen that side what i have seen is upset white women turn and start blaming women of color and it's like wait a second those that's 53 percent of your people <laughs> your, your, your sisters who voted for the former guy um which means also means that that 53 percent in voting for a republican president also likely voted down ballot in Republican races across the board. So um, you, you, why are you talking to the 98%, 98% who didn't vote for that? Because it's easier to blame people than to be held accountable. And they don't want to do it. No. Mm. I mean, you know, we're fortunate because we know, I mean, the many white women that I know are, you know, definitely soldiers in this walk. But the I have said this over and over again about that goddamn Merrick Garland. Had he been doing what he needed to be doing from the day one, coming in, cleaning house, all he did was move the dirt from one side of the room to the other. He did nothing. He should hold his head in shame. How dare he come on TV or anywhere and try to offer any kind of condolences? He's not done his job. If somebody's not doing the job, get rid of him. Garland needs to go. It's too yeah. long. It is too long. I know there's kids who are like just fresh out of law school or, or no more would, would be on that quicker. This is wrong. It's really wrong to let people live in hope like this. When we're talking about holding people accountable, there's also, let's have this frank conversation about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Okay, Barack Obama, when he was candidate, went to her and tried to convince her to retire if he was elected so that he could choose her seat. And she was so full of self-righteousness that she said no. Well, guess what? She died when a Republican was in office. And he got to pick that seat. So. He got to pick that seat. And, 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 you know, I want Democrats to stop saying, oh, well, if we do this, then when Republicans get in charge, they might do this in retribution. Guess what? They're planning on doing it anyway. anyway. So why not just make things good for the time that you have in office? So why, why are Democrats, well, it, 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 well, nope, we'll it is. That's the question. Why Go on. Democrats yeah, we know it's a say it. Please say well, it. You're I, Canadian. Say, People why, need to know you're what, Canadian. What, what, why say are what the, the Canadians feel. Why, why are the Democrats always on the defensive, not on the offensive? Because they don't plan. They do not plan well. The, you know what? Everything with Democrats is about bad timing, okay? When Republicans decide that they're going to fight on the um, economy, you know what Democrats do? Oh, we'll go to the culture wars. No, fight them on the economy. Oh, when Republicans go on the culture war thing, 
oh, we'll fight on the economy. No, get go toe to toe with them. Get in the weeds, get in the mud. Sometimes when people are in the gutter, the only way to beat them is to get down in the gutter with them. Yeah, and that's that's true. try too much that's above the fray. And this whole, you know what, this whole thing with Michelle Obama and the when they go low, we go high. No, when they go low, we go fist to cuffs yeah. with them. I think I think Democrats need some uh, Ukraine toughness. Uh, I think that Democrats need to stop trying to profit off of serious situations because we have to go and look back at we had a Democrat. I don't remember where he was from, but when we were trying to get the Affordable Care Act, we had a senator called Bob Nelson, and he was a big stickler and he was a problem with the Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't want it to be where we could. Uh, oh, there was some provision with Roe versus Wade that that uh, right. your job couldn't pay for it or your health insurance couldn't pick up the tab on it. Right. So Bob Nelson, a Democrat in the time of Barack oh, Obama, got enough leeway and wedges in there to you know create a problem and they conceded and they gave it okay and here we are today you see the problem with democrats is that we should at no point in our ever consciousness ever think that a law is created in america for the good of the people it is created for how much money every senator can make while they're helping to get the law over it is politically strategically built it is never about your dying cousin, sister, mother, brother, husband, the terrorist. One of the things that someone told me when I first started working in politics was don't expect people to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Um, their, their motivation is strictly personal. It's strictly for self-survival and self-preservation, mm -hmm. which ter in turn means money. America, better than any other country in my my, is not a democracy. It's a capitalistic system. Right. It's and not that doesn't go along with democracy. Yeah, to save them in the same capitalism sense is don't go together. It's like oil and water. If you put it in a bowl, you would see it separate from each other. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, I think that um a democracy we never had we're crying about. Really? Well, no, the slap in the face were the Democrats that went and stood on the stairs of the Supreme Court singing, God bless America. God bless what? what was they was America. They were, well, they I, were I'm, I'm trying to understand what that was about. They were singing about the gun thing. Um, I had been saying young women and people and men and everybody needed to be on this. It wasn't like there was anything that anyone could do other than the voting, but more importantly, there's a Hyde Amendment, which they which they make me think that the Democrats are going to try to use. I think sometimes when you're in the middle of a game, you should change the quarterback. We need to infiltrate. And we also need strategy. They don't know how to get it. And then, you know, there's somebody clearly paying these young kids to come out there and be there. They're young. They don't have money to be standing out there all night. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, and they're all moving in unison. So all the states have their trigger laws set up. I'm telling you, it's very highly calculated. And if we start, it's just going to be a very dark time. But here's the, the scary part, right, with leaving this up to the states. Um, about half the states have a gubernatorial election in November. About half the states. So that means that if Democratic governors do not get elected in these states. It's over. This, like this if is, Gavin Newsom doesn't permanent. get in, we're in trouble. This is permanent, yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be permanent. They have figured out that they, they're a minority, but they have figured out how to use that minority because they've jerry-rigged everything and gerrymandered it, that they know how to win with it. And Democrats just don't know how to win the race. So we're going to transition to another topic here, but so ladies, what do we see for the next year in regards to the abortion, abortion landscape in the United States? It's bad. You can't just flip it. And all they're waiting for is November for these gubernatorial elections to have the governors that they want to sign additional laws restricting them. Because remember, they're not just coming after your abortion rights. They want to take this further starting in January. Education. To the point for where sure. 
they want to control birth control. They want to go so far as to use technology to see whether or not women are getting pregnant and not. That's why yesterday on Twitter, there was a whole movement, delete your period apps that are keeping yeah. track of your stuff because they're talking about doing that so that they can then prevent you from going to another st- what kind that is wow. yeah bonded. they're funding those tell someone too. that they can't take their body to california have an abortion and come back and arrest them there's no federal law to protect you from your right. state coming after you anymore True. oh wow yeah so and i don't think that's being made very clear to people that they need to really understand that this is very critical it really wasn't helpful it, people don't even know how to pick battles yeah. Susan Sarandon and her nasty mouth and her pointless, you know, pointless uterus means nothing in this argument. And let's, and let's be but very what clear. women, but situations like that, all it did was divide us further. And this is why we're here yeah. because we have thought we had the luxury to moan and uh, to, to not vote down and understand who's on those ballots. This is a situation where, Nobody is like, you know, a side dish that they didn't consider at the party. This is what's a trip. Democrats yeah. always do crazy. Like, let's support the real crazy right, alt, ultra right wing guy because Claire McCaskill beat one of them at the. Y'all can't play like that. You are not mind readers. And you maybe Claire McCaskill got over one election, but it didn't work for her that other time she tried. Mm-mm. But they have been inadvertently funding ideologies because they think it's in the long run going to weaken so that they can get in there and and maximize and win the the um in November. They better not play games like that again. First of all, you know, the fact that we can't get foreign money out of this is really disgusting and sick. The fact that Leonard Leo is the reason why we have the three worst choices for SCOTUS, I don't understand with the Vatican coming out and speaking out against what just happened, which it did. But then you would say, well, Leonard Leo, who is that whole Catholic alt-right group that's being funding dark money for Donald Trump, they've raised $50 million like this. The issue is we don't know if the money came from Europe. We don't know if it came from Malta because Malta, we just saw over the weekend, an American woman had a a 16-week miscarriage, water broke. They don't believe in abortions. She almost died. Uh, They wouldn't do anything to help her. She had to go through that alone. So I'm believing that it's foreign money that's coming into the country. And I think everybody knows that it is. But we have to stop some things. These are laws that need to be enforced. Some of these people cannot, you can't be rich and just not serve any time and go to jail for nothing. You can't, that can't do that. And you can't rule over poor people because I'm telling you, they are asking for a load of trouble. And if they're ready for that smoke, I hope they're ready for that smoke. Because there will we, be smoke. But, you know, the other the other part of it, too, is, again, Democrats always have their eye on the big prize when the little prize is what is what gives the biggest wave, right? So when Republicans were out here organizing to make sure that they had Republican dog catchers, Democrats are over here talking about, is it Bernie or is it Hillary? And, and let's be clear. <laughs> I saw this on Twitter, right? Bernie Sanders would not have stopped this. Okay, let, let's be perfectly clear because the people who were already going to make this decision were already in place. Yeah. And I want you to say this again for the final time to people, particularly people of color. You're sitting there saying, the president hasn't done anything or Joe Biden's not doing anything. Barack Obama's not doing anything, but the, guess what? They can't do this stuff. Right. Okay. This stuff goes down to those, those um, down ballot races. The, the president, all he can do is sign what Congress gives him. The people that are in Congress, they will vote for what their constituents ask them to vote for. And where who are those constituents? Those constituents are their state senators, their state representatives, their governors, their state judges, all of that. And keep in mind, too, this row going up, this Mississippi law. Remember, this is based on the overturning of Roe as a result of a Mississippi case that went to the Supreme Court. 
Yeah. Okay. So it, in order for it to get to the Supreme Court, it went through the lower courts first. It advanced through the lower courts first. And how was it able to advance through the lower courts? Because Donald Trump put in 300 judges yes. in those lower federal courts. And it's true. They, some walk of walk them are so walk. incompetent. That's another yeah. really bizarre thing. I've been talking about my situation with a friend of mine and her court cases. And there are people who are working on um, probate, like court, and they are, that's not their specialty. They don't even know the laws on it. <laughs> and it's really weird. And you want to know yet, how then you confront a judge ever to tell them that you're not smart enough on this. But then no, as I, it was the other day, I, you know. But you know how to Last time we got to move forward. Yeah, you want to know how incompetent those judges are? All you have to do is look at the person that um, Trump wanted to replace Bill Barr with. Um, what was it? Yes. Jeff uh, Clark. Oh, and yeah. how they yeah. dragged him earlier this week in mm -hmm. uh, January 6th hearings when all those um, other lawyers were going to... Uh, when Trump said, well, what if I make him had they were in, had shock in the room other. and said, what if I make him attorney general? And they were like, oh, we're going to quit. Oh, we'll call him when there's an oil spill because he was, he an was an attorney, never tried a case. So keep in mind, those are the kinds of judges that Trump had put in those lower courts. Yeah. There was a, there's a one woman who was like, what, 22? Yeah, just to never, law school, yes, never and, tried a case, and yeah. he made her a federal judge. Because he thought she was cute. Because he thought yeah. she was because she was young, blonde. Yeah. Federal at the age of 20, what, 23, 24, yeah. she has a lifetime appointment to a right. federal court. So when you're thinking about the courts, keep in mind that the Supreme Court is the highest federal court, but there are lower federal courts, and those judges are appointed by whoever is the president. president. And when you have a president who doesn't have a Senate majority leader who is as laser focused as Mitch McConnell was on getting these judges, remember, Mitch McConnell might have fought about the Supreme Court justices. And he was on it when it came to the um, hearings on these lower court justices. How do we know that? Because Katanji Brown Jackson was one of the ones that he, he allowed to come to yeah. a vote for. Yeah. So, I mean, let's be perfectly clear. This is the setup. This is the plan. It's not something that came out of nowhere. It was a plan that they started they started a while ago, but they also knew how to work the system. They had all their bases covered. And Democrats, meanwhile, are looking at, oh, we've got to fix the Senate. We've got to do this. We've got to, we got to do this. Yeah, but you also need to take care of business down here, too. Because if you don't and you neglect that long enough, it's going to come to bite you. And guess what? Dog bite. And the only one that I saw out there, I heard AOC talking her stuff, whatever. But for some reason, I just get a vibe that AOC is looking to get another Washington job. I don't know what that is. I think there's some kind of Senate fire of that's gone. Yeah, some kind of some, something's gone in her energy since she got engaged. I see something different. I think Cori Bush was out there, you know, right. holding it down as usual. I have a mad ton of respect for that woman. She's also lived a lot. She doesn't let her people down. And, you know, she really... She she's fighting the good fight. Uh, Ilhan, she was out there talking about her daughter, you know, being shocked about this. I think that as Wig Maniac just pointed out, Mary Miller was the one at this rally with Trump this evening. And yes, on the January 6th rally, she was the one who quoted Hitler and always pretends that she's stumbling over something like when she goes, what a day for white uh, victory for, you know, blah, blah, blah. She you know, white lives. This, these are that that woman actually needed a dust up a long time ago, Merrick Garland. You needed to be in jumping in, and she wouldn't have been showing up anywhere today to be saying, Thank God for white lives were saved yesterday. Isn't she Stephen Miller's wife? Yeah, whatever she no, this woman, I don't know. You know, isn't Stephen Miller's wife like I don't even know, but you know, we have some of these extreme groups. We have the extreme Judaism crew. We've got the extreme Catholics. We've got everybody who's so extreme in every one of their religions. Every single one. 
I hope I'm wrong, but no. If there was ever a time to be a single issue voter, this is it because this is the springboard for everything. Think about this. They want, they banned abortion, but they also do not want to let gay people adopt these, these babies right. that women are going to be forced to have. All right, let's move forward. So the day before Roe versus Wade overturned, we had the U.S. Supreme Court finds New York law violates the right to carry guns outside home. <laughs> oh, th this is just revenge for what New York is doing to Donald Trump. They just want mm -hmm. it to be a real Wild West thing. That's what that is. Yeah, We've done it even when it was its safest. New York has not been its on its best right now. But... I don't know. We're and without the Miranda rights, it's going to be there's going to be a night. It's going to be a nightmare situation even for the police. And it just creates more of a more profiling, more of all of that, all of it. And the SCOTUS knew that to do that. They knew. Yeah. And New York and had that law it. for a reason because it was so unsafe at one point in time. That is why they came up with the law because the violence was so bad, particularly mm -hmm. in Manhattan. Yeah. So it, it, it's like, wait a second. It was, it was because of what Tish is doing. Tish James is going for Trump. We see what this is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she can't be the superhero. If Marvel wants to do any more comics, please do it about these black women, Ruby Freeman and Tish, Letitia James, because they're the only ones holding it down. Shay Freeman. Ain't nobody else in the Democratic Party doing it. Seriously. It and Tish was very, Tish came out very vocally about both that law and um, Roe. So you, exactly. know that, you know that they're coming after her. She knows that they're coming after her. Yes. Jill, you know, whenever we talk about this subject, you know, I'm going to bring up what you said a while back. Remember what? what you said? That things like this, it's open season on Black people in America. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. You know, it's um, any time that, you know, you have to imagine that they are going to force our black young girls to carry babies that they once fed to alligators. When you can't find a, some you're being forced to carry a baby, drop it off at Amy <clears throat> Coney Barrett's house. See what she does since she wants to be Mother Teresa. Well, if they were truly pro-life people, they blew they kids' heads off things. with those guns, the assault rifle. They have yeah. done. We are all in an alternate universe at this point because this just seems so out of my mind. Look yeah. at them. There's death all around them. They're dead. This right to carry guns outside the home. I hope yeah. a militia comes in one day and goes in everybody's house and still takes all their guns. There. Because let me tell you something, the next country or leader that ever comes into this country, y'all love Putin so much, y'all ain't going to be holding no guns. <laughs> I got news for y'all that ain't going to have you, one you would think gun. that they would. You would think that they would be a little bit more, um, I don't know, self-aware about this issue when it was, remember, remember what happened a year ago. It was the... Republican men, these white men going to these state houses with their guns, with their guns over mask mandates. Remember that. Yeah. Remember that. That they said they didn't want anyone to tell them what to do with their, their bodies. What? Now yeah. someone someone's gonna die. Yeah. That that's that is the sad part, is that we know that there's a tragedy that's going to happen as a result mm -hmm. of this and it could have been prevented, but they're like, no, we'll just let the tragedy happen and we'll deal with it afterwards. This is the sad thing about a country like ours in, in that progress is a dirty word. You, you would think that we would be progressing forward. Nah, these people want to take the country back. They want their country back. I was talking to someone the other day about Russia. And like saying, do you think the Russians feel really terrible about what's happening? And at one point, we both agreed, like, they know. They also know the ideology. 
And they're the same people now online trolling people from Ukraine and getting high to army bastards. See, the reality is America is no different. We have a sick crew who are okay with the Proud Boys still going into the pride festivals and threatening gay people. And they're okay with Starbucks it. with their AR-15. At this point, you may not like who you're voting, but you have to really investigate. And we have to find ways to remove people quickly. Yeah. But I, I want to ask, I want to ask him this whole thing about the gun thing. And someone, a number of people call me about your conversations and huh? y'all, they, they love them. One of the things that did come up was that interesting America, um, non-melanated Americans who support this ruling go back and saying that it makes sense. Someone said it makes sense to them because that's the way non-melanated Americans took America by the gun. Because they were savages. They, right. You can't take them make anywhere. No well, make no mistake. This is this law, this gun law, is coming at, in 2022, eight years before they become the minority, right? So, of course, they're going to, it's going to be easy to carry, to carry guns. That's why they're killing weapons. us. They're going to change the laws for people to get off of mur you know, murder cases of of people of color much easier. Yes, they're putting all of that in. What's also going on with just our culture as a society and our, our quality of life is so downgraded. Like the other day I was like, I feel like we are really in a third world country. And I've traveled to places like Nicaragua and back in the day, I'm talking in like the seventies and eighties. So when, or Cuba, different, different places that, you know, Panama, when it was really, really rural, right? Most of the things here, America's too big. It was too big for the people controlling it and to keep an eye on it. And it's sad to say it's definitely fallen leagues beneath the sea of even wanting, of being a place to have a nice quality of life and raise your children. And um, everything about it, bad roads, bad air well, it, and nobody cares this. because you know it's like let's just but, be but wild west it. about it we are the only country that has laws for the country every state in the country has laws every city in yeah. every state has laws every county i mean every, yeah we, we have that here, too, in Canada. We have federal laws, we have provincial laws, we have municipal laws. You do, but when yeah, you but have a authority goes out the window in any civilization, when there's no respect for other people, uh, for their belief systems, and there is no respect for authority, you might as well say we're coming near the end of civilization or our society so, because it's okay. done, as this person on LinkedIn said. I think yeah. it's done. And we allow our, um, we, the, the sad part though, is that we allow these ideas that start out uh, as like a city level idea to permeate our national um, legal system. And that, sure. that's, the, that's the problem. I don't see other countries doing that. Oh, guess what? In um, what, Sunflower County, Mississippi, they had an idea that we want to get rid of X, Y, and Z. Oh, we should do this for the whole country. Right. Wait a second. Right. I don't live in that area. <laughs> Why are you bringing me into this? You know, you know, and, and that that is what the problem is in terms of how America governs itself. It is that, and it's not being governed. That's the other right. thing. And, and and we also have this this there's this idea that white men in particular have when they're governing in this country is that what's good for them is good for everybody is good for everybody. And it's no. And, and we also have to deal with this issue. The fact that our con the, the, that we view our constitution as being infallible. No, it's wrong. It, it has been wrong. Look, if it was yeah. infallible, we wouldn't need all these amendments. It was supposed to be a living, breathing, as uh, Jackie Spears said today, document. document. Yeah. You don't sit and talk about, you know, things from back in the day, as Aisha mentioned, 
if you want to have guns, they then you want to go back to the original list because Alito is an original list. He wants it back in the day. Well, go get a quill pen and uh, some birch tree leaf plants and start <laughs> writing on it because Make I a ain't giving head. you a shred of respect until I see you walking around and wearing some of those jodhpurs or whatever, you know, and don't go to the dentist and don't do any of that and take your toilets and put it outside and go like the dog you are. You know, I can't stand it. And I personally have always believed in shunning people. I don't see any shunning their kids, shunning, you know, no parties for this one to come to. I know it's a hard road and I, I may not be right about that, but uh, bad associations spoil useful habits. Uh, if y'all want to quote the Bible, let's use that one. I can't personally believe that we're here. And yet I'm actually watching this go down like the freaking Titanic. I thought 9-11, I was in New York. And that's the other thing. People in America, I've told you this before, in the middle of like Kansas, oh, it was terrible. 9-11, oh, it was just, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I'm like, well, where were you? Were you down on Warren Street or were you? No, I was here. Like you're in Kansas City. Uh, yeah, I was there. And I actually you walk through a sea of faces every day on a sticker on a, you know, we on the East Coast felt it. Stop it. Americans have a tendency to be that too. Like, oh, you know, Jesus and, and this and, you know, all of that. Uh, frankly, what did I put up today on my Instagram that Gandhi said, like, I like your Jesus, but uh, I don't like your Christians. And, you know, he wasn't wrong. He said a lot of things about it. Okay. Because I'm of that point. I have never thought that I would turn away from the Christian church or the Christian belief system. I never thought that would happen to me. Right. But I would rather take my chances and whoever my maker is, I'll deal with it. Because I would rather be dead forever than to have to go to heaven with some of these who think they're going to go. Like the other day, there was like thunder and lightning. And I said... Maybe God's finally throwing out those dumb bastards who tried to sneak in on the fly, you know, like right. um, we're going to move know. forward. I'm sorry. Right. I'm a little distracted because there's a moth flying around my head. I swear it's Merrick Garland. Ah, stop. <laughs> Let's Kill it. A good segue. Smash it. U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, we already talked about that. Mr. Biden signs the first major gun reform law in decades. I mean, and let's be honest. With where was he law. in Austria when he signed it? I don't. I don't. I don't know. But here's the thing about the, this law. Let's keep. Let's be realistic. It's not new legislation. They basically just brought back some of the old things that th that were gotten rid of, like and, and left out the really important parts, like the boyfriend loophole. The boyfriend yes, loophole is it, and affects, it affects people. It affects women not just in relationships. There was a woman that I read about who was at a bar with her friends. This guy comes over to her, starts hitting on her. And she's like, no, thank you. I'm involved with someone, whatever. He stayed on her the whole night. And she kept saying, no, thank you. So finally she was like, look, <laughs> I told you, leave me alone. So when she and her friends left, he walked outside right after her and shot her in the head. Wow. Because he was rejected. Okay, so the boy, when they talk about the boyfriend loophole, it also refers to those situations as well. But, and I think, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but also there is a cons certain type of weapons that are still allowed to be carried. I mean, they did not get rid of the assault rifle ban. That's I mean, it. I mean, they did. They did not add an assault rifle ban. There you go. What which, which they should, which they should have. And we know this: that the AR-15 is now the preferred weapon of choice of mass shooters. Yeah. I mean, what school shooting has there been in the last twenty years where an AR-15 was not used? Yeah, I, I think what's like, why was that not part of this bill? Because they couldn't have gotten. They would not have gotten the Republican support. So Mitch why, McConnell was why, very, why Mitch McConnell was very so why strategic. Why the Republicans? Why are the Republicans wanting to keep that part? That they out? make money. Their donations are coming from the NRA. Yeah. Thank they're, you yeah. very much. They're all rich because of it. And the look, and, and their Mitch, children are going to be rich, and their generational wealth. And guess so who gets the money I from say, the NRA? Look at all of them sideways. All of their little yeah. nasty kids in private schools. All their little nasty kids who get jobs. 
it's think about all this. blood money. Their but lives are built on the blood of other people in America. The Seriously. most religious, the most religious senator gets the most money from the NRA. Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good okay. old so while he's over there Mormon. talking about he a Mormon? Being pro life. Oh yeah. Remember he's Miss over there talking about the being pro life with Roe, but then on the other uh, underneath the table he's taking. He the can't money even claim to be NRA. drunk. They can only even drink. So he's just an evil. Wow. He's getting the money under the table. Okay. Always two-faced. Him and Susan Collins. Always acting surprised about something. Well, <laughs> Your girl, well, Susan, how's Susan doing? Joe Manchin Susan, is the other one taking money from all these places, too. Do yeah, he's another the, one. Chris And Kristen Cinema up there on Twitter yesterday talking about, oh, I'm really, you know what? I'll do, she's like, I'll do anything. You'll do anything. Kill the filibuster. Oh, yeah, I can't. I said anything. Now you uh -huh. aren't being reasonable. No, but this this gun legislation that 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 whole part those were very watered down. It's more. It's to me. It's symbolism. The only reason that well, it that, is. well, it is, and it it was it's on purpose. The only reason Republicans were allowed by Mitch McConnell to uh, vote for this, the the sixteen that did was because I bet you it's those 16 that are up in November. Yeah. And they're worried that this particular, these last couple of tragedies will kill their chances. Excuse the um, phrasing. Wow. Yeah, That's Susan Collins, she's such a mewling. Well, it's like, girl, you knew. Yeah, <laughs> she knew, trying how to many people? How many people what what it's it's new to you that somebody lied on a um job interview? Yeah, I don't <laughs> know why he said he would do this. You mewling old dusty old twat. Stop it. I'm sick Not of it. She's yeah. too old to yeah. be like Look. acting like she, you know, he said, and I'm shocked. And I heard Jackie Spear today on TV saying, I think there's something that should be done about it. Ladies, stop it. Don't play me. You knew you are politicians, almost a step up from a cockroach, maybe below a cockroach. Think about that. And you're trying to say, I, we don't know. I believed what Kavanaugh said. Was he drunk <laughs> when he said it? He's nice beer, so. He's I mean, an alcoholic, you can see from his nose. But think about it. It's always fine. red, and he's getting elephantitis on his nose and nostrils. He actually isn't out full on drunk. We had two sex offenders take away women's right to choose. Mm. On the, two, two on the Supreme so, Court. So, let, let, so let's bring it back though to this. Is this this legislation that was signed by President Biden, any meaning, any impact? Not for me. Symbolism. No, it's not. And the reason they I think it'll though, three hundred thousand. They think it'll prevent from going and getting guns, but really, it's a background check that people wait for three days. Well, not um, and, and it does not cover. Wait, let me make this very clear. It does not cover background checks. Don't have to happen if they buy it online, mm. um, person to person. It doesn't cover or, ghost guns either. Huh? It doesn't cover ghost guns. And it doesn't cover ghost guns. So, uh, what is this? What, what, Symbolism. You mean it, Symbolism. It only covers if you decide to go into the retail store and say. Hey, Tommy, can I see that gun up there? I'm an idiot. And I think I want you to give me a background check. It doesn't cover that. You know, it, it's like, what is this? It's all pomp and circumstance. And yeah. And, and I, I mean, God, it's amazing that America's lasted this long, guys. Let's just really, when we think about it now, like how dumb have we been as a society for this long that the people actually have tolerated this? But what's so interesting is that the right, the white supremacists are angry as hell and they actually did something about it. And they're winning. Black folks, they just want to go out and dance to Beyonce's new song and talk about you won't take my soul, but baby, uh, they did Black Wall Street. Don't think they won't come for your ever get so comfortable with somebody who wants you over. This country is just right now, it, it's like, it. And gay I'm people too. It may be the gay answer, I really but am. I'm really disappointed with the gun legislation because um, 
themselves and throwing throwing the campaign, throwing it. You know, it's like, honestly, there needs some be some wrenches in here. That's the one thing I do like about the mayor of New York. Now, he may not be a great all around guy on uh, in life. I don't know. But I like that he is a bit of an oddball. But in a couple of years, he'll just be as tainted as everybody else. They get on each other. That's what politics is about. But the sad part is that Chris Murphy. But it's a big old gang. But Chris Murphy went through with this. I'm kind of disappointed. Yeah. Because Chris Murphy and Richard Blumenthal were heading this up and gave the country um, fewer gun rights than the state of Connecticut has. I mean, more. He's your guy. He did as best as he could, though. Even he's not happy. No, and he did the best he could. I mean, we're fortunate in that in our state that after Newtown, they banned assault rifles. They did the yeah. ban, right? Um, but we couldn't get that on. We couldn't get that on the federal level, and there really is no excuse for it. it it's like no one has made a um, what's the word I'm looking for? A um, sensible argument as to why someone needs an AR-15. Hunters know you don't. Well, it's the only people who like, know that you need it is are the mil- are people in the military when they're fighting. Well, we get so swayed with things. It's like even as like everybody was going on about Cheney's daughter. What's her name again? Liz, Liz Cheney. So then in the middle of it, Aisha texts this thing the other day, which is like, she's still a Republican because sure enough, where was she's she talking on the about Yes, she was. Yes, she, she was. was. Get rid of Roe. So two things can exist at the same time. And we seem to be like all or nothing. But at this point, I am about all or nothing. Just like I said, just because Liz doesn't have any friends doesn't mean that we have to be her, her friend. Yeah, it she's doesn't mean just that her doing what she changed. feels. This The reason she's where she is is because she her ego got all out of shape with Donald Trump. Don't ever get that twisted. He, Remember, he they, took put, her st- they took her stuff from her. Yeah, they took her position he spoke from to her like no man had ever done in her life. She's always gotten what she wanted. And he put her in a place that she'd never been. So all this motivation has nothing to do with really that much more than I'm not saying she's not discovering that, you know, all the nightmare and the planning that went on on January 6th. But if Trump had said, Liz, I want you as my right hand person, Liz would have been there. She would have been there. She's not a heroine or a hero. All right. And we got to stop just that. did her job. If she just did her job. Be done. All right. All right. Well, let's transition and finish off. Any updates from the January 6th hearings? Any new revelations? Uh, the filming guy is the reason yeah, that's why gonna they be postponed interesting. it, right? Yeah, they, they got um, the guy who is a British filmmaker said that yes, um, he's, I saw got, that he's got video and he's giving it to them. He wasn't subpoenaed or anything. He's volunteering the video. And so they they have to go back and watch it. They, they're like, it's, I think he, he said it's like 10 hours of raw footage that wow. he has. So they're yeah. going to go back and they're going to watch all of it. And, and um, what impact is that going to have? Guess, but guess what? But guess what? Here's the, here's the, here's the, uh, the, the, um, Thing that's really funny about it is that I keep saying Trump is going to put himself in trouble. He's going to put himself in jail because this is a video. Um, this is a videographer that he commissioned mm. to do. Jared did, film. right? Mm-hmm. Yep, to do a film on him, gave him unfettered access, and then did not try and take control over how the video was edited. He gave total creative control to this guy. So, um, cause he probably didn't pay him. <laughs> yeah, probably not. That's why he owns the masters. He didn't but pay not him. Just that. The guy is like, I mean, <laughs> it, it's insane. Yeah, but nothing's gonna happen. No, we'll I see. mean, the interesting thing, what I have discovered from seeing Ivanka more and more, because she's now on the new tape saying, my father never lies. This is the filmmaker stuff. But in the, I believed everything Bill Barr said, blah, blah, blah. But I'm the longer I look at that girl, does she look like Voldemort from Harry Potter? Shame. You know, Voldemort, Shame. Ralph F- Rafe Fiennes. Shame. But it's, Shame. I say, stop with the nose jobs. It's not good. 
because he didn't have a nose. And it's like, I believed everything he said. You know, I don't know. What can we say about these lunatics? They're they're really kind of um the hearings, the, hear, the hearings are frightening right, people. The, the hearings are really good drama, though. They're really, really good. Like it's very, very informative. informative. Very informative. And this from where I'm sitting going, what are Americans having to say about 45? Well, you know, Kevin McCarthy <laughs> should kick himself right now because he what he did a the Democrats a favor by not putting people on um the uh on the uh committee, committee right because now there are no antics from jim jordan there's no matt gates trying to no. run someone down everybody gets it, it, it's, the facts it, it's, uninterrupted you know what's really interesting from where i'm sitting you're not hearing any republicans talk about these hearings uh -uh. but guess what they had it on fox the other day when they ran okay. jeff clark yes <laughs> Okay, they, the Jeff Clark thing is, I mean, that was funny. The, I, I'm sorry. They, they must have been worried then because they were trying missed, to clean I that up. I missed out on that, but <gasps> I, I'm not hearing any Republicans at all make It any... was Turner. What's his name? Turner, Tanker, Turner. What's his name? Turner. Tucker, Tanner. Tanner? Oh, Tucker. Tucker. Tucker, sorry. I, I try to get his brain, his thing off my mind. He was looking there like this. And the guy was going, and then they brought in an artificial intel wait a dog a sniffing dog to go through my stuff when they raided his house like they came and with a subpoena went through his house and i was telling aisha when i looked up this dog a mechanical was it a tech is it's a mechanical dog sniffing dog but yeah. i i don't know if it's a real dog i think it's a real dog either way i looked it up and this this thing that they're doing with these raids or going into people's houses and going through their stuff has generally been used for pedophiles. Um, because right. some of the files I was reading, they got, they captured a really great one pedo pedo from Connecticut who escaped and went on the lamb and they found him later. But this dog sniffing thing yeah. dog was able to pick up certain coding that's used on these hard drives. I don't, don't ask me. It's something, if anybody knows more about this, I found it fascinating, but I also found it really wild that they brought it to Jeffrey Clark's house, which is it associated with anything other than looking for pedophiles or what kind of files are they looking at? Cause it's all tech related. What I thought was funny was the fact that they came after him and he was standing outside in his boxer shorts and then had the nerve to go on Fox news talking about and then they had to come to my house and and this then bang on the door. Guess what? That's what they do with criminals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's that's how the so, look, that's uh, how the feds come in on criminals. So you know? person, uh, so one of the, I guess his thought process: Do you know who I am? Right. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and their whole thing is like, yeah, I you're am. a criminal. You're a crook. Yeah. Well, that's why we're banging down your door. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Well. You know, at least he was given the courtesy of not guns being drawn and, you know, oh, shot true. when he got up off yep. the seat. So, you know, mm -hmm. I am not crying any crocodile tears for that one. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no tears yet. Right. Oh, you know, well, he survived it. So mm -hmm. uh, that's a stone, remember? <gasps> yes. And is Manafort back in jail or going back or something? Are they looking back into him? Again, Merrick Garland dragging his feet. Yeah, he's dragging him so much that his feet are in one, like in California and his body is in D.C. That's how much he's been dragging it. <laughs> well, ladies, I think we're going to call it a wrap. Uh, another epic conversation, as always. I was... I haven't had as much anticipation about this conversation. Oh, I always do, but since <sighs> the night of the, the uh, election... Wow, and boy, wow, have things I, gone banana since? But it, yeah, but this, I think this is another moment in time. And one of the reasons I love doing these conversations with you because I think people will look back and say, they were saying something, hmm. they were yeah. saying something. 
If so only I, they'd listen to us and make yeah. us in charge of the damn country, we'd be fine. Well, steady on, boys. <laughs> he's sitting up there in these meetings. Like, I November couldn't be on the be commission. It would be beep, beep, beep. It'd be like November will be interesting. Yeah. I, I, I well, okay, which, which is a, a question. How much will these things play a part in the November election? Who oh. knows? We need I mean, cheat sheets, cheat sheets of every people, single person. I think yeah. every state, there should be somebody, if you live in a state, start collecting information on the people running and start creating like little, you know, cheat sheets and I, we can I, share I, them. I, 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 I think I we're even beyond that. I think at this point right now, we have such um, uh, small attention spans. Well, there's the thing again. That's that's the thing that that worries me. Is that okay? In this moment, people are upset, but next month, when people get used to the idea that we no longer have this, yeah, 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 are they still know, going to be you know as what, upset? Yeah, is it going to you know carry what, out through November? You know what's going to be interesting again? The key demographic for the midterms is going to be the key demographic that was in the last presidential election non melanated women. Yeah, they're there again. Yeah. The miss what how do you say it? Massage the, the massage and blanc. Massage and blanc. No, yeah, that's, lick that's, their wounds. That's so uh, uh, but I, before they become the incubators, the choice incubators, they are gonna need us. Black they wanted the, something uh, like massage and noir, so they came yeah, up with yeah, massage yeah, and noir. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying because yes, there is a lot of non-melanated women who are very upset right now. Are they going to be upset during when they have to vote? And will they remember? Let's see how long this carries. And I agree with you also, Isha. Protesting, no need. Go yeah. to the ballot box. If what, you know. Well, a lot of people are not going to do January. A they lot have of people. Idea. There's a few things running around online where some people are starting to want to boycott July 4th and not even participate. Like not buy. Wow. If you buy, buy a day before, buy after, do nothing. I kind of, I'm vibing with that myself. Like I think it would be a real big F you to the, you know, many corporations have stood in and said they want to help, but they'll have to understand we got to go this way. Sorry. But you, you know, know why we, that won't help? Because mm -hmm. what, will ha what will happen is what always happens is that people will buy everything that they were going to buy on July 4th, either on the 3rd or on the 5th. And so they might get impacted for one day, but they might have. They but will but I'm not even. just talking about just the shopping. I'm talking about people who actually celebrate this stupid holiday. I don't need to go to someone's house for hot dogs or any of that. And that's the sacrifice. Some people have to really weigh, is it worth it? Because... Mm -hmm. It, it's like the bus boycott. Do we think black people wanted to walk to work? They were walking far, but they did it. And we don't have the fortitude anymore or the integrity to do like that. Or and the that's why thing. we're on the downside. That's why we're screwed all the time. We don't reject anything because crabs in a barrel. There's always somebody who goes, oh, they didn't go. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna stand in their place. That's the problem. We yeah, don't we, have any solidarity for our fellow man. Like I said, the country's dead. It's right. just dead. And we're expecting Aisha, a lot and, from and, dead and people. Any last words, Aisha? I just think that um, we need to take a new course of action now. Um, stop voting for all of these uh, Democrats that are middle of the road. Okay. Stop, stop, stop not going to vote for the lower level races. Every November, there is an election. Every November, you should be voting for something. And if this is not your issue to vote on, there are tons of others that, because they're coming for everything. They will not be happy until we are all back in bondage. Yeah. Right. It's a get, house of cards. Get to the jig on a plantation. It's so true. You ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. That's the truth preach because that is exactly what they're doing and they will find a way to enslave you because they're making sure you don't have any place to live and they'll make sure by black buying man up does all the houses Thomas. they're making sure that black people also can't get apartments you know they can't rent things um they're homeless 
They are living on the streets, on the freeways. Where are they going to go? Work here. Work off your debt. Indentured servitude is something that also was in New York State is grappling with something on their Supreme Court. And I don't know enough about it to talk about it, but it's not illegal, whatever. It was made not illegal either. That was something else that went under the radar in another ruling of a state. We have some interesting things being set up to move in people to like camps. Yeah. And people will, in maybe 20 or 30 years, people will be working off their lives in some farm or somewhere. It's going to be slavery again if people don't get it together. And we need to take care of one another and start demanding more humanity, demanding more humanity. If you're a black person, non-black person, I suggest you go to PBS. They have this documentary called Slavery by Another Name. I watched it on Monday. And everything that um, Jill just said, everything that's gonna that could possibly happen, it's in that documentary. You want to know what it will be like as they strip rights away? They talk about Black people getting out of slavery, the Emancipation Proclamation and all that, but that the other things that happened afterwards were forms of slavery. They just weren't called slavery. They were called Black co- black Codes. They were called Jim Crow Laws. They were called, what was it? Uh, the um, pr- the, what were they calling the prisons? It w- it was some kind of some kind of way that they were using the prisons to um, put people back in slavery. But that's people. something with the servitude thing yeah. that you're talking. Yeah. That's the law I'm talking about. Actually, it was here in California. It's something we have with this. You know, we have people who work, and they're working in the prisons, and we're trying to say this is servitude. This is. They're being paid very little, blah, 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 whatever the deal is. But now it's not illegal to do this to these people and make them have the work on things. Like if they're a fireman, we have a lot of when we had these fires, a lot of people from the prisons came and fought the fires, but they're only making like three cents an hour. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, they still have chain gangs down south in Alabama and Mississippi. Make no mistakes. Wearing the black and white. I've seen them. Okay, so. And the history of those chain gangs is that a lot of those people that they arrested and put there in those prisons like that were were um, sharecroppers who made yes, they they were. money to someone. We're done. That's yeah. it. So keep it in mind. Cut it down. Yeah. We're done. Cinema Canella says this has been eye opening. Uh, isn't it every week? I'm just asking. <laughs> but thanks everyone who made this an epic conversation. Oh, this is DeSantis. Will be running yeah. for president. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And at that point, we will be worse off than Russia. I don't like that you can take Satan and make a name on his whole name. Oh shame! Stop it. <laughs> you can when you do his full name. Try to write words out of people's names. You'll learn a lot All about their right. personalities. All right, Jill, you're done. <laughs> All right, you're done. All right. F- thanks, family, for watching us live or on the replay or listen to us on replay. You can catch this thing called State of Things with Aisha and Jill live on Saturdays at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on the Dr. Vibe Show YouTube and Facebook page. Now, next weekend, we are not going to be live. We're going to be doing a replay. It is a long week in Canada, a long weekend in Canada, Canada Day, and it is. Uh, 4th of July weekend in United States. Wonder if either one of you will be celebrating, but that's a whole other conversation. And you can also watch replays of this epic conversation on the Dr. Vibe Show on YouTube and Facebook and the Dr. Vibe Show on the website. So as always, I'd like to thank the ladies for making another epic conversation. Jill Jones, how can people touch base with you? Jill D. Jones at Twitter. And I'm sorry for using the R word today because that was a horrible boomer thing to say. It's not used anymore. And my apologies. No problem. You are forgiven. There was worse language you used than that, Jill. Don't worry. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then Aisha, how can people get in touch with you? Um, Aisha Staggers on Twitter. Wonderful. Still taking peace, though, for my... All right. <laughs> uh, got it, got it. And myself, 
There are all the deets there. Website, the drvibeshow.com. Email dr. Period at the drvibeshow.com. YouTube and Facebook, the Doctor Vibe Show. Twitter at drvibeshow and Instagram, the Doctor Vibe Show. As always, I'd like to thank everyone again who listened live on the replay. Again, a reminder: we will not be broadcasting live next week. So enjoy if you do celebrate or if you do get some time off, enjoy the long weekend. It's appreciated and not taken for granted. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. As always, close out with this. Live your life as a dream. If you can dream it, you can make it. Sometimes you have to get smaller to get stronger. Block assumptions, then aim bigger, aim better, aim higher, aim wider. Love, faith, and respect. Remember to give yourselves grace and don't just manage your time, manage your energy. And one last thing I want to add on today. A tree without roots is a piece of wood. See ya.